Welcome back, everyone. This past Saturday on May 6th, our next guest celebrated a remarkable milestone in Canadian TV. Take a look. I've been with CTV for 50 years, and during that time, I've interviewed hundreds, perhaps thousands of people. I give teachers a hard time. Okay, you're about to censor. There's a part of me where I want to be rich and famous. Absolutely. He's doing it again. Sometimes they open up and reveal a lot of secrets. The momentous occasion is being marked by two primetime specials about her life and career and her most memorable interviews. Here to tell us more, CTV National News Weekend anchor and W5 reporter, the one and only Sandy Ronaldo. Wow. This is amazing. <laughs> Lovely. Thanks for being here. It's for my first time on The Social. I watch you guys, but I've never been here. Oh, well, welcome. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> After 50 years. No, you haven't been <laughs> here that long. Even just hearing your voice, like, it's, like, it's beautiful. It's velvet. You can see so many memories. I just wanted to ask you, 50 years, like, yes. that's a remarkable number. But what does 50 years mean to you? It means a lot of years. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I don't know. I don't know where yeah. the time has gone. When I look back, because doing this special, I had an opportunity to revisit some of my old hairstyles <laughs> and my outfits, and I'm thinking, what was I thinking at the time? But nevertheless, it's like it's like watching myself grow up. I talk about yeah. myself as being a child of the network, and I did. I came in a baby, and I went through my adolescence and my mature years, and now here we are today. It's amazing. Right. So as a baby, well, we want to talk about some of your iconic interviews, yeah. uh, starting with one with William <laughs> Shatner. Let's yes. take a look. Of all the people I've interviewed over the years, there was one that was certainly the most challenging. Back in 1994. Well, we're going to do a follow-up all these years later. Okay, can we go back to that time you and I met? You didn't like the questions I asked you, so you took your mic off and you left. You're kidding. Yeah. That was terrible. Yeah. How rude. It did not go well. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's an understatement. So he yeah. walked out. What happened? So I was doing a series for CTV News at that point called mm -hmm. CTV Biography, where I would interview people. And it was a more personal thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I would get to ask them questions about who they are mm -hmm. as people and what motivated them. Mm -hmm. And the, the VP of Entertainment uh, said that uh, Bill Shatner's in town. Mm -hmm. He's here to promote a brand new Canadian startup company. It shows you how we've dated ourselves, right? Back then, he was very excited about it. Would you interview? And I said, well, will he talk about himself? Absolutely. We were given 10 minutes. Bill Shatner was delayed because of traffic. 10 became 9, became 8, between 7. I thought, oh. He walks in, he sits down, he starts talking about the startup company. I let him talk because, you know, you're polite mm -hmm. under these circumstances. This is Bill Shatner, after all. This is Captain Kirk. And then finally, he gave me an opening when he talked about being proud uh, to be a Canadian. I said, speaking of that, you come from Montreal. You grew up in Montreal. We think of you as one of ours. Let me take you back to that time. I don't want to talk about that. Oh, no. So I said, well, why don't we compromise, and we'll talk a little bit about what you want to talk about, and then a bit about who you are. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what I had said? Mm -hmm. And he took off his mic and stormed out. That wasn't a tough question, right? No, no. 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 <laughs> anyway, fast forward, I came back to the, uh, the, the, the headquarters. We were at 250 Young at that mm. point. There were flowers waiting from, for me from his production company, from the company he was mm -hmm. representing, from the CTV Entertainment Department. And the VP came down and he said, because he's friends with Bill Shatner, saying, Shatner came back and said, I, I think I've upset your little girl. Oh. <laughs> So I said, let me at him, right? Fast forward all these years later. Well, let me tell you, I didn't have him at hello, but I had him at goodbye. So you have to watch that special to see what happened. He was a challenge, but uh, I really enjoyed going back and forth with him on that one, so. Speaking of iconic, another iconic uh, chat that you had was with Mariah Carey. Yes. Yeah, let's, let's take a look here. <laughs> okay. Are you a pop diva? Oh, I don't know if I'm a pop diva. Only when I'm reclining and doing interviews. <laughs> okay, so oh my God! Are you serious? Was she actually a diva? So, you know, 
you're accustomed to this. You've done the junket tours, right? Where you're given X amount of minutes to speak to a star yeah, and it's yeah, like yeah. one reporter after another sitting down and talking to them. So they, you know, generally they get asked the same question. So I thought, what can I possibly ask that's different that's gonna set me apart? So there she is reclining like I that. can't. And I said, what's with the chaise, you know? Are you Nefertiti, right? You know, oh, yeah. because there she was looking like a goddess. Mm -hmm. And she started to laugh. And so the interview went well. And what you're seeing here is we had been told in, te in TV, we like to do something called B roll, which is mm -hmm. you, you take them outside the studio, which is what you're looking at now. Mm -hmm. Her people had said, absolutely not, her gatekeepers. But I guess she liked me enough at that point because we were laughing and bantering that she let me uh, see her this way, which was wow, great, you know, and so nice. down to earth. And for yeah. her, she said it was refreshing to be able to get outside herself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I do love that question with her laying down, just looking at you. That is iconic. All right, let's talk about another iconic yes. interview. A young Justin Trudeau. Let's take a look at that. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing I should talk about on camera, I think. Ah, the politician already. Mm. <laughs> no. Never, never. 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 I'm going to be a teacher. <laughs> well, never. Yeah, the last well, words, clearly right? he had a change of heart. What do you remember about that interview? So I was interviewing Margaret Trudeau, mm -hmm. and she was then living with her second husband and had two more children, so she had her five children. She was very proud of all her kids, and she described what they were all like to her. When she spoke about Justin, she talked about my beautiful boy, my handsome mm -hmm. son, my wonderful son. He's a fr firstborn, right? He shows up <laughs> unexpectedly. Uh, <laughs> As you can outfit. see, Denim yes. Cut off. <laughs> And, you know, at, at one point, you know, he agrees to an interview and he's drinking Coke and a can of Coca-Cola. And so I said, what have you learned from your parents' experiences? Mm -hmm. Because Margaret Trudeau's uh, separation from her husband was very public. Mm -hmm. Everyone knew about it. You can, you know, it's not like living in a glass bubble. Everybody knew what was going on. And then he was there and I asked him, what have you learned from your parents' experiences? I'm not going to talk about that. So I said, mm -hmm. ah, the politician already. Uh -huh. At which point he said, no, never. Anyway, fast forward, 2023, I sat down and spoke with uh, the prime minister about that time, and his answers are very candid. Was he in the same vest? Or <laughs> <laughs> I don't <laughs> Jean shorts yeah. for me. Yeah. Um, you know, Sandy, we were talking a little bit backstage because you are so accustomed to be the one in the yes. interviewer's yes. chair. Yes. Um, and we've been looking at all of these iconic interviews. But there is this special that we were discussing, a yes. two-part special. The cameras are turned on you. Yes. You are answering the questions. The special is called I'm Sandy Ronaldo. Yes. What has this experience been like for you to be on the receiving end of the question? So hard for me because I'm such a private person, mm -hmm. right? I don't talk about myself. I don't like to talk about myself. In fact, you know, I'd like to be asking you questions <laughs> instead of you asking me. So, but this is, I'm paying homage to my parents. I have a wonderful relationship, had, they've passed away. And I'm grateful for that. I was very lucky, you know, I, I, as, as far as a mother and father, they were there for me and they went through tremendous hardship. I'm a child of Holocaust survivors. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a result, they poured everything they could have into me because they lost so much. And I'm here today because of them. And so this is telling their story. Congratulations on this amazing milestone, and thank you so much for thank your work you. and for being on our TVs all this time, informing us, letting us know everything. It's been so great having you here on the social for the first time. Thank you, ladies. So, you can catch the first special, I'm Sandy Ronaldo, tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on CTV, and stay tuned for the second special, Sandy Ronaldo's 50-50, airing later this summer. Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.